Creating rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock is quite an easy program and it's just an adaption of the rock, paper, scissors game. So I'm in the block editor and I'm going to set up my button B action and my button A action. So my button A action will be uh, when button A is pressed, change score by one. So it will add one to the current score. It will show a string of text which says wins and then show number score. So it will show the current score. If you lose a game, you press button B, so on button B press, change score by minus one, it will minus one from the score. It will show string um, lose losses uh, and show number score, so again it will show the current score. With regards to the main game, what I've done is on shake, so when we shake the micro bit, we're going to get it to do something and it's going to set the weapon, a variable called weapon, uh, to pick a random number between naught and four and then we use an if statement. If weapon equals zero, show rock, and this is the shape I've used for rock. Else, if it's one, we'll show paper. So I've used a little square around the outside to represent the paper. Um, scissors, okay, so this is my scissors. So if the variable equals uh, two, it will be scissors. So I've done four little LEDs here, four here, and then a little V shape to represent scissors. Um, Else, if the variable equals three, we'll have like a little lizard shape, or it looks more like a dinosaur, but it's the best I could do. You might be able to come up with something a little bit better. And if it's uh, if the variable equals four, we have um, the little Vulcan hand symbol for Spock. Okay, so let's give it a try. We'll click run. So the idea is you'd both have um, a micro bit, you'd shake it, and it would pick a random number assigned to that variable and show the LED image. So we can see here we've got scissors. If we shake it again, we've got paper, Spock, Let's see if we can get lizard up, rock, and there's the little lizard thing. So, and then, so let's say um, we shake it and I get rock and the other person has got something that beats rock. So he's got Spock. Um, you would say, uh, I lost. So I click lose and it will say, that I've lost and it will show um, that my score is zero if we play again and I win so let's say I've got Spock and Spock um, vaporizes rock it will say we can say I've won and it will set my score to one so you might not be familiar with the the rules of, uh, of rock paper scissors lizard Spock so we'll go over those now and uh, I hope you enjoy and have fun programming. Okay, it's really, really easy. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock, rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock, Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes lizard, and as it always has, Rock crushes scissors. Okay, so we've got our two micro bits and just give them a quick shake. You can see that it's changing. So the idea would be that you'd have two players. So obviously scissors cuts paper. So this one's one. Um, enjoy guys girls have fun and keep on coding